Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, rather some more speculation regarding around Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So a new trailer came out today, and that trailer is talking about different things from the campaign, which is kind of cool. If you're interested in the campaign, you're interested in the story, the, the lore, the setting, I guess, of Advanced Warfare and what's going on with that, this trailer is going to answer some questions for you. It's going to show you some more things that you possibly didn't know about before, which is pretty cool. But at the end of the trailer, there is actually a sneak peek towards the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare multiplayer, and then it lets us know that there's going to be a worldwide multiplayer premiere coming on August 11th, 2014. So what we're going to do for you guys, we're going to show you guys a trailer in its entirety. It's a rather short trailer, so you guys can just check that out really quickly. And then we're going to discuss a few things regarding around the multiplayer. It was the first global terrorist attack in history. They struck nuclear reactors on five continents simultaneously. And in an instant, threw our world into chaos. With our government and military crippled, we turned to a private military company called Atlas. Atlas has the single largest standing military in the world, but we answer to no country. They fought our wars. They rebuilt our cities. The truth is we often find that we're more effective than the governments that hire us. them an immense amount of responsibility and with that an immense amount of power we are going in an operation on foreign sovereign soil it would be an act of war without congressional approval atlas is an internationally registered private company we don't need congress Ideas don't determine who's right. Power determines who's right. And I have the power. So I'm right. All right, now about wraps it up. So the multiplayer was pretty interesting to me. So basically, I overslept. My sleep was bad. I was overslept, and I woke up and I checked Twitter as I usually do. And a lot of people were tweeting me about this new trailer, and a lot of people were saying, "Dude, check out the new kill feed. How awesome is that?" And I think that's great. I think it's great that they took the kill feed and they put it back in its traditional spot, where it's called the ghost. Put it up in the top right for some reason where no one can see it, and they also made it really transparent. This one isn't transparent. It looks very good. It reminds me a lot of the Call of Duty 4 kill feed, which is pretty nice. I think it's awesome that they're gonna have a good kill feed because one of the best things about Call of Duty you get a triple kill or you get a you get a quad feed even it's really cool feeling you see it there everyone else sees it it's great even if you're getting like a double kill or a triple kill or something like that it shows up in the kill feed it looks very nice you get to see your name and you killing these two people or whatever you know and everyone else gets to see it the kill feed's a big part of Call of Duty I think uh, Call of Duty Ghost and Fanny Ward they really seem to not take that they kind of took that for granted in my opinion they kind of just made it really transparent threw it up there in the upper right and they changed the way the mechanics of it worked and they came from different directions and 
it was a really bad kill feed in my opinion. So I'm glad they're going to a more traditional Call of Duty 4 style kill feed. Also, the mini map is not going to be the same mini map from Call of Duty Ghost, which I think is also a good thing. Uh, traditionally, this is how the mini maps look. It's just a simple square and it's easy to read, right? The Call of Duty Ghost one was a bit different. It was pretty easy to read, I guess, but it was just a lot different. I'm kind of happy that they went back to the old style one. I actually like that a lot more because it's just more traditional. You know, every single Call of Duty game that's had a mini map has had a mini map like that. You know, I think it's better that they went back to that style. If you look down there at the bottom of the screen, a lot of people are speculating that these are actually going to be score streaks and they're bringing in a score streak system, which is pretty cool. A lot of people seem to like the Black Ops 2 score streak system that reward people for playing the objective and you got to earn more kill streaks by playing the objective, be it in kill confirmed or domination or what have you, right? It was a pretty cool system they had right there with the exception of Team Deathmatch and Search and Destroy. We're kind of bad for the score streak system, but maybe they can tweak that a little bit. Who knows? A lot of people are seem to be excited about that. But the one thing people don't seem to be excited about or even mentioning for whatever reason is the fact that this man is 20 feet in the air. I think I think it's a pretty big deal. Like when I was watching his trailer, I'm just like I'm just like raising my hands, like no one else sees this. Am I the only one? The guy 20 feet in the air. And what's crazy to me is that that man is so high up in the air, right? He can jump so high, and this is supposedly the multiplayer, right? And he's so high, and then he gets killed that you actually get a little award right there on your screen, kind of like what they did in Black Ops 2, right? You get a little a little medal. And it look, it's called Skeet Shooter, which is for, if you guys don't know what Skeet Shooting is, that's when you shoot, like, clay pigeons out of the air, right? So this is a thing. They actually expect uh, jumping in the air 20 feet to be so common in Advanced Warfare that they gave you a medal for killing someone while they're in the air. And that really, really, really worries me. That sounds like an awful, awful feature to incorporate into a Call of Duty game. This is not Halo. This is bigger than Halo. This is more than Halo. The Halo you can't even jump that high in Halo. I mean, look at this. This man's in here doing a loop-de-loop -loop around the staircase. And this is supposedly, once again, the multiplayer. That's crazy to me. I don't think that should be happening in Call of Duty. I don't think that you should be able to be jumping that high. If I wanted to play Halo, I'd play Halo. You know, regardless if you think it's cool that Call of Duty is innovating, regardless if you think that this might just be some kind of special perk that he's running that allows him to do this, regardless of all that, the man's able to jump 20 feet in the air. The man's able to do a loop-de-loop -loop around a staircase. This is Call of Duty, not Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. What's going on here? I don't understand why they're able to do that, and it really doesn't look like Call of Duty to me. That's what I'm worried about. I'm really worried this does not look like Call of Duty, and that this is going to end up being a real flop of a game. But then again, we've seen like three seconds of the multiplayer. I mean, I've jumped to a lot of conclusions today. I'm not going to jump to too many conclusions in this video, but I am going to say, <sighs> that's weird. I don't, I'm not really a big fan of the 20-foot jumping. That's kind of a big deal to me. But regardless, like you guys, I'm going to be anxiously awaiting the multiplayer world premiere, which is going to be coming out on August 11th, 2014, where hopefully they can put the stuff that we've seen today into context. We can see exactly what's going to be happening with Advanced Warfare. As of right now, I see that we can do you know, little jet jumps to go around corners faster. I see that we can do loopy loops around staircases. I see that we can jump 20 feet in the air and that they expect it to be such a common occurrence that they made a specific metal called Skeet Shooter that will allow us to get maybe a little bit of bonus XP for shooting people out of the air. That's nuts, man. I mean, a lot of people want Call of Duty to innovate, but do you want Call of Duty to innovate this far? I don't know. I don't know. I guess that's a question for you guys to answer for me in the comment section below. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I wish I had more information for you guys, but I only know what you guys know. I've only seen what you guys have seen, but my opinion, guys, it's pretty nuts to me. I guess we're going to have to wait for a couple weeks, and we're actually going to be able to check out the world premiere and hopefully put all this in the context for us so i hope you guys all enjoyed this video and if you did please be sure to leave a rating hope you guys all have a wonderful day